Um, I've got my notes and I can tell you that um, a lot of us know that over the last seven years, we've seen my mom almost leave us and then come back and almost leave us and come back. And because of that, I would say that I was intentional with a lot of conversations with her, but knowing that over the last seven years, that there would be a time that I need to stand up here and talk, I had <coughs> sat down and had some really great conversations with her that were even going back into her childhood, going back into things that she'd experienced and things that I would want to be able to share. So I hate to say that sounds kind of weird, but I've been gathering this information for seven years. <laughs> So, um, during one of those occasions, we actually were surprised that we got to make it to her 80th birthday and on her 80th birthday, um, we got to celebrate with some great friends and that was a big surprise, but here we are five years later and she made it to her 85th and based on how spunky she was, I thought we were going to get another 10 years. <clears throat> a few things I was able to learn when I was sitting down and asking her these questions was her earliest memory. She was telling me her earliest memory was when she was in kindergarten and she got to be made a princess for a day. Um, and who wouldn't want to be princess for a day? So she had one of her beautiful smiles on as she was sharing this. She told me she was the tallest girl in her elementary school, but like me, she got passed up right after elementary school. <laughs> um, she remembers getting her first bike at the age of 12 and as she was telling me these stories, she has a big smile on her face as she was telling me about learning to ride. <clears throat> In high school, she took a um, girls workshop class and her greatest achievement was that she was able to make this vanity chest and got an A on it. She didn't back it up with the paperwork, just so you know. <laughs> um, she told me she wasn't a good singer, so she stayed away from choir and took sewing. And as many of you know, um, she was big into sewing, big into anything craft related. She proceeded with stories about her brothers, her cousins or uncles, um, people that shaped parts of her life we went on to talk about the things that she cherished most. Um, she had a brother, Mark, a brother, Philip, Aunt Susan, who's married to Philip, nieces, um, my step-siblings, and those great grandkids, and all of those people that she just cherished greatly. Um, Philip and Mark and Susan couldn't make it today, but they should be online watching and, and joining us in spirit. Um, when I consider that this is a celebration of life, I turn to the things in my mom's life that made her unique and things to celebrate. So my mom, she dedicated her life to my amazing brother, Mike, and I love how she loved and cared for him so deeply. Most of you know that um, her entire time has been making sure that he is happy, safe, and has quality time with family, including all of you. So you are all her family. And that, to me, was amazing. Um, my mom was great at putting mom, Mike front and center and making sure that she was dedicated and I see the blessings in his life because of that. For my mom, <laughs> I think it's crazy. I know Mike's doing this. Come on, pick up the pace. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Keeping me from crying. Um, <laughs> For me, I just sit back and I have to laugh because my mom, she thought too highly of me. My mom thought that I was some sort of weird miracle worker, but that's not the case. I just knew how to put things together. So she just was my biggest cheerleader. She was just always thinking that I could do something amazing when it was really Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that's the secret. Um, I'm grateful for all her cheers and I just wanted she just wanted me to know that I was loved. She wants Mike to know she was loved, and she wants me to carry that forever. And she showed us, and we felt it, and we even feel it today. There was a time when I met my mom's friends and I realized how lucky she was, but it wasn't luck, it was intentional. One of the things that we talk about, even with my kids and my friends and my family, is it's not, it's not luck, it's intention. The people you spend your time with, she centered herself around people who were like-minded, genuine, loving, and kind. She loved God. She spoke words of compassion and words of love. And I realized that it wasn't, it wasn't luck. She was blessed. She was blessed and she made conscious choices. All of you are here today because she was part of your life. She had obstacles in her life. And when we look at the obstacles, she had times in her life when she could have complained or gave up. And maybe she'd a little bit, but for the most part, she didn't. And 
I just loved how she dedicated her life to helping adult children with disabilities in memory of Denny, which was my stepbrother. Yeah. Um, she had wonderful um, siblings that are watching online today from all over. Um, she was blessed with great grandchildren before our grandchildren and great grandchildren, long before I ever had ours. Um, and those memories with them, she would share those. Um, she just loved them. And one of her memories that she was talking about recently, um, memories that she got with our girls, is she got to go to the zoo with Samantha. She just loved it. Sam got to take her behind the scenes and show her around. Danica was always doing some sort of weird antics with her. So, but she had adventures with these and she enjoyed all of them. She enjoyed laughing. She enjoyed her great time with Norm, which was her recent husband that most of you met. Um, those years, she smiled. She smiled bigger, she laughed harder, she laughed deeper. <clears throat> but I want to lay out a few details, um, a few other details. And as I was planning this, and we were working on things, I was real intentional to be providing things that really touched into her life. And so if you haven't yet done your thumbprint on the um, little sign-in book, it matches her. Anything art related, she was all in. And you guys, if you don't have a pine cone, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have one? Okay. Raise your hand if you don't have a pine cone. <laughs> um, I'll be having this artwork framed. It was intention, the songs, the flowers, a few other things to, to just match her smile and her attitude towards life. I really wanted to also mention a few things that were just deep to me. I wouldn't have been able to help my mom without the love of many of you. So her care team, Paige, Janelle, Donna, um, Karina, um, I'm going blank, <laughs> all of you, <laughs> Carol, Lorraine, Carrie, um, many others, Jodine, where are you Jodine? You moved, there you are, okay. Um, all of you ladies, I, I just, I wanna give you a hand. All of the days, all of the love and attention that you gave to my mom, she felt it every day. And you made her laugh, and you made all of her days amazing. And we couldn't have done it without you. I have much to learn, and the one thing I can learn from my mom is to smile more. I often say we carry with us those who went to death in our life. <laughs> I was gonna make it four minutes. I don't know if I did. Um, when we carry forward things that people have been in our lives and we carry forward the pieces of them, the pieces I think of my mom is that I hope that we leave here today, myself included, with a part of my mom, and I know people will say, I'm sorry for your loss, but I think I'm sorry for our loss. I'm sorry for all of us, but we get to carry with us the things that she put in our lives, which is a joyful smile, letting go, moving on, not carrying a grudge, and being kind. If there was one thing that my mom was, she was kind, she was happy, she didn't carry a grudge, she loved deeply, she forgave quickly. <laughs> I have a lot to learn. I wanna thank you for being part of her life and for all the love and being part of our life. Mike and I, we greatly appreciate all of you. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs>